when you compress the tibia by flexing the hock, you may notice that the popliteal systemic bone is displayed distally toward the foot. So here are a few classic changes. Um, the first one is this little, again, I apologize if you can't see the cursor. Um, but right below the condyle, south of the, condy the femoral condyle, is this tiny little piece of bone, which is a sesamoid. It shouldn't be there. It should be way up here, right caudal to the fibular head. Um, another common change is a visualization of the CPT, or cranial tibial thrust, the femur, in a normal dog shouldn't sit back there. It should sit on top of the eminence, on top of the tibia. This should be here. So what's happening is that because of the tear, of course, this is a complete tear of the ACL just to illustrate my point. Um, so with an ACL deficient stifle, you have cranial displacement of the tibia, which means that the tibia looks like it's far cranial. I mean, look at the patella. It should never sit above the tibia like this. And another change is effusion. This whole space here looks gray when you should have a clear distinction between the familial fluid and the fat in the normal cycle. 